quarantine. Quarantine, no oh, quarantine. How you fuck me up so much daily. Now I'm getting my divorce papers <laughs> ready. <laughs> I'm getting them drawn up, guys. Holy shit. Fuck Welcome you. to Drinking Broettes, <laughs> brought to you by Ghost Bed and Divorce Court. <laughs> or what's a, good, what's a good divorce lawyer? You know, they're like always the commercial and it's like the fucking name that just like six sticks. Five, no, yeah, no, no like, um, that one? Kind of like. Divorce what Court is it? by Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, something like Hoot, Hooters, Hoot Hoot, Hoot Hootie and... Has your and spouse Breyer. been a cheating bastard? Yeah. Do you want to take all of his money? It's like it's always like accidents and divorce. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like accidents, DUI, divorce. And you're like, yeah, all the same, basically. Then call Lucas and Luke. <laughs> Lucas and Luke Smith <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Johnsons. Like, it's always like very generic last names, too. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're Jewish. But hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, I got to get your money somehow. Hey, look. You go get You it. want a good lawyer? You put a steen. You put a steen yeah, on ooh, the end or a bird. Yeah. Steenberg Bergstein. Bergstein. Berg and Steen would be the best <laughs> law. That combo yeah. together, winning. Berg no matter what. Steen. That's so, I'm getting to draw my papers out. Oh, so why are you saying that? Dude, it's getting rough. It's getting rough. I don't know how it is for you, uh-huh. but um, my husband's losing his mind. <laughs> I feel like most men are right now. They're losing their mind. Um, Guys, mine is yeah. he hasn't spent this much time with his kids. <laughs> Ever, mm-hmm. ever, and he is exhausted. Mm. It's so hard. <laughs> I just don't get a break. He said, "I just don't get a break. I have to go to work, and then I'm with the kids all weekend, and then I just don't get a break." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, sweetie, You're like this is what happens sweetheart. when two people have this sex." This is what and- happens, and I think <laughs> this is what the problem is with. Guys, I mean, whether you have kids or not, yeah. I mean, we can get into if your husband's losing his mind or whatever. Yeah, but I think the kid thing is like moms are kind of sitting there, like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, They're like so welcome now you have to my to life. Actually, yeah, welcome to my life because I work here. I told him this morning too. I was like, before you even opened, before you even uh, uh, opened your little eyes, I had already done the dishes, laundry, and a meeting with your child's. Uh, teacher uh-huh. on Zoom and got him all ready for his school before day. Before your and eye boogers before you were even, literally even oh, wiped out of those eyeballs. Oh, before you even just pulled the I've blanket. Been, <laughs> and I go, what did you do? I've been going. Yeah. I've been going. I've been like doing the things that I need to do. And you were having coffee. Mm-hmm. Relaxing. Watching the news. Watching the news. Getting your Singing day about started. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, 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 he's getting your <laughs> day started. Not that you guys don't know who I'm talking about. But anyways, now you really do. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, and just being like, oh, I just don't get a break. It just kind of fucking fuck you, dude. And I think every guy is dealing with it differently. I think so, too. And every woman is dealing with it different. I'm sure they're saying the fucking same whatever different thing about us. But for me... Quarantine is like, you know, this is what I this is what I do. I don't I don't yeah. think women get a break. So that's why I thought to myself too. Is to me, like this quarantine, fairly normal. Besides I mean, the fact that like when I'm out here, I don't get to, we don't get to go we out. We don't get to go out to and dinner. I don't get to go out. Which you know is what like, I mean? And like Chris and I don't get to go to dinner. But beyond yes. that, like everything else is normal ops. The only thing different is that my husband's home, and I feel like all the time going. I feel like he's going stir crazy a little right like i i, I feel like it's kind of like a guy thing in general where to they're like, like i'm not used to this the home i need to Usually. leave i need yes. to work i need to be busy i need to be gone and be doing something yes. and it's like dude chill and i know you guys think that you do a lot and you do yeah we're not you we're do not saying you don't at all we're yeah. not saying you don't it's just you do different things different mm. uh you do different things and you get to do things without kids hanging around your legs and so you go oh I fucking was so busy and you're like yeah so was I and then I also had this the other kids, like, situation two tiny human beings while I'm <laughs> trying to do stuff taking care of yeah. taking care of and I don't stop from 7 a.m till 7 30 or 8 o'clock at night whether yeah. I'm at work or I'm taking care of them or making dinner or grabbing them or doing the rest of their schoolwork or doing laundry dishes cleaning yeah. da, da, da. so like I just don't you we just don't stop you know what this reminds me of so I'm going to kind of compare this to military our military training Please. when we were in SEER so when Please. we first got in SEER right 
when you become a field flight instructor, so you there's a 19 day course where we're taking out our students in the survival training, right? You are as a new instructor, like task saturated to the max and it's overwhelming. Like you're like, oh my God, I'm never gonna do this. I'm never gonna get everything done. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah. But you train months and months and months, right? To where all of a sudden now you are a seasoned instructor. You're getting everything done super easily. You learn how to manage your time. You learn how to take care of nine students and make sure they yes. don't kill themselves and get everything else done, get plenty of sleep and food, right? So it's because you're used to it. Now take an instructor out of that for a while after a year or so and try to put him back in. He's like, what the fuck? Like freaking out. Like, yeah. dude, I need a break. Chicken with his head cut yeah. off, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like a little bit, that's kind of how it is with some of the guys yes. here in the situation. Yes. Is that it's a very different kind of, it's a, you guys are very test saturated, busy all the time, but you're like, you're so used to it that for him, he's just like, oh my God, what is this? What I is this? What to do. I need like, to hang out with the kids the whole time and mm-hmm. then I just need to like be there and like yeah. be present. He doesn't have football. He's literally losing his mind because he mm-hmm. doesn't have football. So he doesn't have that escape because usually on the weekends, this is my oh, weekend, yeah, football, yeah. he's sitting on the couch watching football drinking hanging out the kids are around sure but he is f- locked in mm-hmm. it's fucking annoying but that's life right and he doesn't have that so now he's playing with the kids so that's what he's i'm saying going out. everything's switched up their normal day-to-day routine up. is not there they're not used to and doing it I- i'm used to it i've i have and a yet, yeah i have a year and a half year old like i'm just now getting to a place where life is a tiny bit normal and even then just when I think it's normal, then he goes into sleep regression and he's up all night. So I just never, normal routine is just not something, you just take what comes yeah. and deal. Take yeah. what comes and deal. You so. learn, yes, and that's how it was in Sears, is that you learn to take any situation, learn to overcome and adapt. You just kind of change routes, you're fine. Yep. And then all of a sudden, yeah, you're good. Mm-hmm. No need to like have a helmet fire and freak out because guess what? That's just going to make things worse. It's just going to make things worse. Yes, is which, which is what we've noticed. So that's why I think sometimes, which was so funny because when I went through training, a lot of guys did have problems with that, like multitasking, being task saturated. Absolutely. Whereas for me, I was like, this is easy. easy piece, I loved dude. it. Yep. That part, right? Because for me, when you kind of compare the men and We're women, so much better <laughs> at it. We We're are better, so much better, better at, at multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Look, I'm very, uh, I will be very we have our honest. Strengths and yeah, yeah. I'll be very honest about what we are definitely better at and what we aren't. Yeah. Right? Totally, totally. Yeah. That multitasking, uh, taking things as they come, like stress, keeping stress at like a lower level somehow, even though we have more, you know what I mean? That's like, what with, I mean. I don't it's know. so weird sometimes that I rather. Like me personally, like I rather be super busy yes. and like going all the time. Yes. Right. To me, that feels normal. Like I'm like, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. But for me, sometimes when I feel like I get the downtime and when I have a lot of time to think or just that wouldn't be me. That makes my head kind of yes. go and spin and like all these extra things. I'm like, why am I thinking all these things and whatever else when you have this downtime? So that's why I like to keep myself busy. Yeah personally and I think maybe that would be the opposite like for us if we were put in a situation where we literally could not do anything right work we would go crazy I I feel like go crazy whereas yes for them they need that I know they need the me time and relaxing just a little bit just to recharge no it's so true though because and go ahead go every night when there's so much stuff to do even around the house and I'm like unless I you know I'm making like a list of things for him to do He's just sitting there watching movies the whole night while I'm upstairs, like ironing on clothing labels and folding everything, getting packages out and whatever. And, yeah, you know. And he, and half some, some, sometimes I'm like, hey, you can come up and like talk to me. Hang oh out. yeah, you no, know. No, no. He needs his time. <laughs> he needs his time. He needs his time. <laughs> he needs to like decompress. They need that time. I don't know. By the way, I don't know where he was getting this before. So I'm trying to think. You know, he would go to the beach house and kind of work. He would come here and he would go to the gym after work yeah for like a couple hours nobody needs to be at the gym for a couple hours <laughs> that's a long ass workout it's a long ass fucking workout <laughs> and you better have something to show for it so you anyways have some abs. you better have some fucking <laughs> six pack so i just think i think it's hard for everybody it's a different in beast. different mm-hmm. ways yeah. and it's uh it's revealing to me too like imbalance of duties sure oh yeah so it's revealing to me, whereas before I was just like, go, go, going. I thought, you know, we both are doing the same thing. It's revealing to me now. Mm-hmm. 
how much he doesn't do. Yeah. That's so, it, that's hard when that when you come to that in a relationship, right? Because I've definitely been there before where I've sat there and I've like you try not to play the compare and contrast game because that's just kind of dangerous for a relationship, right? Like for you, sure, you don't want to be like, well, I do this, so you should do that. But there has been times where I'm sitting there going, like, I am, I feel like, like I'm literally doing everything in the house on top of being TDY all the time, on top of that's the like, thing. N- if you, know, you have all a job things, as well, right? Do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I sit there and go, we're both gone just as much. Like, why do I feel like I'm doing more? Killing myself and again from seven to yeah. seven. And there's been we've had talks. Where, like, literally I've sat down and been like, do I need to, like, come up with a chore chart? Yeah. And he's literally been like, yeah, do it. And I was like, really? Because to me, like, I was like, that feels feels like I'm childish. Your mom. Your mom. But part, like, so now I realize if I do want something done, like, I shouldn't. You can't just expect it, even though, I mean, it's got to get done somehow. So if I'm not doing it, you know. Yeah. So there's some times where I'm like, hey, do you mind if tonight while I'm. I'm busy doing stuff. I just made dinner. Can you like clean up after and just like sweep the floor? And he's like, yeah, sure. He'll do it. But we've talked about this before where you and I need to be more like if we do ask them to do something, let them do it. Yeah, and I do. The way they do it, which is hard for me where it's like, hey, can you do this? And then it doesn't actually get done. So it kind of seems like no point. And then I'm like, and I I just do everything. I try to have a better attitude with it where to me, I'm like, okay, I rather have a half ass effort done on the floor than it not done at all. So I'll take it. Right. Right. And to me now I kind of find it funny where like the other day I opened up the kitchen cabinets for the bowls and I find this random Tupperware Tupperware in there. Right. Mm. And glass bowls. I'm like, Mm. these don't you know, like little mixing ones. And I just laugh at it now because I'm like, hey, he tried. He tried. I can't Oh, for sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, so look, part of me if is kind of like, that, I'll, t- I'll take it. Which I, I don't wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't like that before. Before I'd be like, where is it, where is it supposed to go? Where is it? Like, quiz them. But now I'm like, hey, I'll take yeah. it. Because whatever. So my problem is I didn't set that up in the beginning, which you need to do. Oh, so yeah, I'm definitely. so far in <laughs> oh, now yeah. that like, I just do everything. He doesn't do a dish he doesn't sweep he doesn't put anything away he doesn't do laundry he does not even he's just now starting to put his plate away after he's done eating but at it's this like point large, now it's a lot child. but at this point now I'm not really sure what, what to do change. like yeah. do I I'm wondering like do we talk about it in therapy where I just have to like say it to someone and be Maybe. like hey I need some kind of contract now of like things are 50 50 around the house because before when this whole arrangement was set up I wasn't working yeah like I worked in a salon and then I because um, that does make it a little bit different it but, does but and, the thing and is look, roles change over time though absolutely and things change and you have to work together on these and things. when he's at work making all the bacon even if I feel like I'm doing so much around the house that's yeah. my fucking job yeah. and I totally took that on and that was like and it's a lot so yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. dude, I felt like I was at a full-time job taking care of my kid and getting the house cleaned and making dinner and doing that traditional stuff. Mm-hmm. But now that we're both working a lot, we haven't had that conversation yet mm-hmm. of like, hey, actually, we're both very busy. Yeah. And so and we, we need, need to, like, to divide the yeah. stuff at home. But it's like, I can't breach. I don't know how to breach that conversation right now. And especially in quarantine. That could like, be Like, I want to start that fight. To do it with, like, a counselor or a therapist. Because I'll tell you I right now. So is like I think you we've we've done counseling and it's and I feel like sometimes people have like a black eye to it right where they're like oh it's bad like oh my god this is oh, terrible no, no, no. I listen think it's necessary. it is necessary so healthy yeah. to do and I even know like some churches before you even get married in a church make you go through couples counseling before you even get married you oh know? and it's absolutely it's so you beneficial need to get those things in, out out first you have a mediator right who's not like hopefully they're not taking sides but they're helping each of you see like how your to points from different perspectives it is so healthy because listen not everything's always rainbows and butterflies not everything fucking works out perfectly it is fucking hard work marriage is work yeah you know what i mean and i think there was even like a therapist the other day there's a lot of like therapists and doctors and lawyers and everything getting on tiktok and giving like a lot of free advice really and helping out a ton love it and this lady was saying that like she got a question talking about some girl saying that the spark was gone after they've been together for a few years like they were going to get married and the girl didn't know she should get married because the spark was gone and she goes hun the spark will be gone probably 
permanently. The spark is something initial. Yes. It takes work and love and a lot of commitment and the spark everything changes later on. Yes. She it goes, you should still be in love with them. Time. Yes. But the, like the initial like spark, like the. <gasps> and anyone like, that's continually trying to look for that. Yeah. Is you'll going never to be single or yeah. unhappy your entire life. Correct. Because you'll or keep you're bouncing from be person bouncing to person. From person to person. Because that spark. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, then initially, doesn't, of course, you know initially, I mean? but yeah. it does not stick and around for long. she also said, too, that when you get into a relationship with someone, you should initially listen to what they say and see how they act. Because how they act in the beginning is how they will be throughout. Like, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And that's what I, like, Chris, when Chris and I first met each other, like, part of me, when later on, he was like, oh, you're acting this way. I'm like, you do. He would call me Tiffany Tough Nuts because I'd be, like, super independent and, like, don't fuck with me, da 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 yeah, yeah. And, like, didn't really need him. And I was like, what makes you so surprised? This is who I am. I was like that from the very beginning when you met me when we were friends. Yeah, like, exactly. What would, make, what would make you think that I would change kind of being in a relationship? Like, you, my heart has softened. Yeah, you, know, you do much. change. You do you change a little bit. sort of change a little you bit. You do. Not for people, but you should change for the relationship. Correct. Like, hey, these are things I need to work on. Yes. Um, this would be better for us. Like, do I really have? No. Yeah. You know, I can definitely chill it out a little bit more. Get that chip off my shoulder or whatever. Yeah. And I have to say, like, it's not exactly his fault with the, like, inequity of duties at home. Like, like I said, it's something that was already ingrained. So it's like people will treat you how you let them treat you. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like people will do what you let them do. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's. It. If you don't say like, hey, this is what needs to be done, which again, I cannot fucking have this conversation in quarantine. I just yeah. can't because like, uh, yeah. like you want to start any more fights than are already being started by nothing. Yeah. Because yes, <laughs> I mean, started by nothing. Like Isn't I need to funny? fucking start, you know, this That's conversation. One thing that I feel like I've noticed, too, is nothing. that nothing oh, like it's like literally. tripping on air. You're I like, know. what'd you just trip on? <laughs> Why'd we just fight? Oh, nothing. Nothing's there. Like, I'm just have a thought in my it's head. Like, and now we're fucking fart. Fu- now it's like, what did you just do? Breathing. Oh, my God. I can't even. And it's like, what are you talking about? Calm it down. You fucking calm it down. Yeah. You don't tell me to relax. Like, you're a fucking loser. I hate you. I've never <laughs> fucking loved you. What? 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 <laughs> what? It's like, dude, you're escalate like, the escalation. You're just like, bro, like, <laughs> calm down, dude. And it's also this thing of like, we are stuck together, right? It's almost like marriage. Once you get that, I always say the first year of marriage is the worst. It's the worst because once you get that piece of paper Mm -hmm. and you're like stuck. You're like, it sets in, right? For a second. And then you're like, well, you can't, you don't even fucking tell me because this is me. And you're like, well, you know what I mean? And then after that year of like figuring stuff out, fighting, you know, going to stay at a hotel, coming back, blah, blah, blah. And you like work out finally that, hey, we are actually stuck. Yeah, we're like together. And I love you and I'm stuck stuck with you on because I want to be. Well, that's the thing too is I feel like sometimes people use the like, I'm leaving you or like I'm breaking up Mm. as a Mm -hmm. a way to get the upper hand. And when you're married, you can't just be like, I'm just going to fucking divorce you. I'm just going to leave. Like, by the way, can't just do that. And yeah. by the way, throwing that divorce world word around, at least when with our guy, like seriously, they like one of our counselors is like, hey, only say it if you mean it. Yeah. You and know what I mean, because it's been in our counseling as well, which, again, everyone should be going to marriage counseling at some point. Yeah. Like whether you get to any point it, it's hard for people to communicate just in general. It is, if you yeah. guys don't have any problems good for you i don't know who you are but um same ours that was a problem that i was having where it's like you can't even um if you aren't going to absolutely do it i don't want to hear it do you know what i mean like i don't want that in my head and the counselor agreed with me yes well because you live you live now in this fear initially you live in this fearful state my ex-husband did that to me right where like after he cheated on me and we tried working out and tried staying together like when he had cheated and done all these things and I uncovered all these lies, like I deployed for seven months. So by the time I came back, like I was finally dealing with it when I came back, I was so busy when I was deployed. We didn't even ever have a chance to talk. Yeah. 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 So I was dealing with it for the first time then. And it was still really kind of fresh to me. And he expected me to just be over it like willy nilly and not have any type of reservations or like trust issues at all. What? Yeah. And I was so taken back. And he's like, I can't live my life like this. I can't live my marriage. Would you like questioning my trust? It's like you broke it for the last two, three years we were together. Like you lied about everything. Like how am I supposed to just get over it? He was gaslighting you for sure. And so then it got 
got to the point to where he would just always keep threatening divorce. Well, if you don't fucking change, I'm going to divorce you. And at first, initially, I was like, oh, scared, no. right? Yeah. And it, I lived in this fear of like, maybe I, should, I was walking on eggshells, mm-hmm. so concerned that maybe I need to change and just get over things and fear of divorce. And then he just starts saying it a lot more often to like get the upper hand on things, where eventually it turned around and became very numb. Like the word was very numb now where I was just like, yeah, okay, cool. whatever. Go ahead. And then on top of that, then I really kind of start to really have a little bit more respect for myself and the fact that I was like, you want to divorce me after all the shit you put me through? Mm-hmm. Like I should be the one divorcing you. Like, right. you know what I mean? And it got to the point where eventually one day we just sat down and when I was like, okay, when I finally decided to say, that, you know, that mm-hmm. I wanted a divorce, he kind of thought I was joking. Because he just threw it around to William. Oh, because it was like, so he was like, oh, okay, I guess we're going to like take a break for a couple of days. Yeah. And like, no, no, no. And we went through multiple counselors. You know what I mean? Like, and he wouldn't even go with me either by the time I got home because he did his own. Oh, did he? When he was away, when I was away. Oh, good for him. Yeah. So, you know, you can only do so much and talking to the chapel and all the time and like trying to figure out. And it, it got to the point where I was finally like, okay. And that's why you don't throw that word around because guess what? Whether you mean it or not eventually that person's going to really think that you mean it after throwing it around. You're basically getting that person to that point. You are so getting that person to the point. You put it in gone, their head. Yeah. If we hadn't gone to counselor, I think maybe, you know, I don't know where we would be now. Sure. Because once people say it, say it, say it, then you start to be like, all right, well, I guess I need to prepare myself for this. Correct. But once you prepare yourself for that, then you, you're done. Listen. You're already done. Because you've gotten yourself and your emotions to a point where if you try to get yourself to where those words don't hurt you. Correct. You're not in in the relationship anymore. We as people have a fight or flight response with anything, with any situation, right? So when you hear those words, it's two things you do. You either fight for that or you start getting ready to leave. Yeah, and go, that's okay, that's essentially what it was, right? Yeah, is you I protect would, yourself. I would keep fighting for it. And then eventually yeah. I would start looking for... I you know got a job in california i was like cool i'm getting the fuck out of here you yeah. know what i mean like i looked for different apartments like because you start you doing things to protect secure. yourself you yeah because secure. who wants to live in something that is so exactly like, rocky exactly and that literally you feel like he can just leave you at any point like that's how unimportant you are yeah so it's funny because i remember when they first sat down with us so i think it was my pastor who married us like my ex and i he just said like don't say the d word and i was like damn like yeah you know, wait, like, oh, what are what? you talking and when he said that it made complete sense and chris and i have that too you know there's been a few times where you know it, well, for it sure. might have been thrown around where it was like whoa, 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 whoa. did you really mean that yeah yeah you know and then like things came together it was like oh my god and then the talk was like we can't you can't use that you yeah. can't say those things yeah you know like and i scary yeah and then i started throwing it around too so it was like sure, we both got happens. into like that that pattern and then we had to both get out of it for mm-hmm. so it was like counseling sitting down and being like okay this is something that you can't this is like saying the worst thing you can ever fucking say to yeah. like a man or a woman right so like think of this as like the absolute worst 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 thing yeah. you can leave you can go stay you know what i mean you can like which i don't love like i don't love the leaving the house and like going to like a hotel or a beach house sure. or whatever it may but be. there are some times though where hey, people it's honestly better. need space like you a one, night like yeah oh yeah, yeah it yeah, shouldn't yeah. be for a while but yeah, I, yeah we me and you talked about this a little bit but the way i grew up we were we grew up kind of in a household where we would easily get very angry we were easy okay. to anger right? right where something would happen and we'd be like and we want yeah. to explode and my sisters and i would like fight right like fight with each other pull each other's hair yeah, or yeah, we yeah. would use our words yeah and we got really good with using our words to really hurt people's feelings and it got to the point where my mom and dad would be like hey you're gonna count to 10 you're gonna go up to your room you're gonna calm it down yeah and then once you're calm let's go ahead and talk about it sometimes things were talked about and like the apologies were forced but then other times because we all kind of got used to it we just go up to our rooms calm it down not really say anything anymore yeah but calm it down so for me i learned that i needed space right yeah to get over something what would happen is my parents gave me a lot of space when i was younger sometimes because i was this rebellious teenager yeah that i got so used to taking up however much space i wanted that in relationships I did the same thing. Like mm. there'll be weeks sometimes, like even with really good guy friends that I wouldn't talk to for like a week or two. And then we'd come back and that was normal. Right. So when I first got into a relationship with Chris and I'd get really upset, I was like, leave me alone. And it'd be like a whole not a whole week, but there'd be some times I was like, I don't even want to bother. And he's like, We're gonna have to like I can work with you on this. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna work with you on this. Right. 
and not like not talk ever it was just like just not talk about yeah i wasn't like we're not getting into happy. the fight we're not and we're yeah. not like real close we weren't super close There's something wrong so it had to get to the point to where he was like okay let's work on days like you know what i mean like maybe only take a few days right to calm it down a little bit and have some space and, and then you need to come back together and talk not correct. just like oh it's over you have to be like okay yes, now i'm we ready talk it out yeah you have to have a good sincere apology like and really mean it and you have to forgive and actually forget so you don't right. hold a grudge right like these are the things most of the time two people need to apologize just so you guys know correct <laughs> and it, it's to the point now where it's literally within 30 not even 30 minutes where i'm like hey i'm sorry right yeah Th- this happens and when we first were together what f- three four years ago mm-hmm. it was not like that right and sometimes we take what we learned from our childhood and if we have people in our lives that allow it to happen it kind of just keeps getting perpetuated keeps happening yeah. right yeah and chris was one of those people that was like i'm not gonna put up with this thank yeah. god yeah because that's not normal even though it was normal to me right like, right just leave me alone yeah it's not normal and now I'm able to be like I completely know, and I just kind of want to squash it right away because I don't like it when it's bothering me. Yeah, because that f- for most people that like feeling, it doesn't feel good. So See, you I didn't like, have that feeling. I know I I yeah sociopath. I just joking. completely <laughs> no. It's it was it was a way for me to survive. Kind of it was a survival technique. I learned so much that there were so many things I had been through and went through and like bullshit that there was a lot of stuff I just had to brush off. I brushed off so much. I would be like, don't let it bother you. Don't let it get to you. Just don't. And it got to the point to where I was just kind of like, do you even have any fucking emotions? Tiffany? Right. You know what I mean? Right. You kind of have a chip on your shoulder. Don't have any emotions. Like there has to be a happy medium. Right. And I think the thing is sometimes I was afraid to be exposed or have these emotions that allow to think people could like, get under my skin or show it. And that's why now, that's why I think now I'm so open and like vulnerable because I'm like, this is, it's whatever. It's me. Yeah. Like, at least now I feel like I'm being me. Right. And allowing these to come out. Maybe in a healthy way. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. in a non-healthy way. Yeah, yeah, So I've learned these things over the years. Whereas before, I was just so locked up. Didn't wear my heart on my sleeve. Fuck everyone. Like, took care of myself. Now it's like, I'm married to a man that I love. Like, who loves me? This is not healthy. These are things that we need. We both have things we need to work on. This was one of them. Yeah. Like, wear my heart on my sleeve. Be vulnerable. It's okay to have emotions. It's okay for things to bother you. Hey, it, girl, it's okay to cry. Right. You know, like, I grew up thinking crying was bad. Yeah, so yeah. So all these things that you kind of, like, learn over the years that you're so used to. Yeah. And just like we kind of talked before, like, someone's so used to doing something, like, you continue to keep doing it. Yeah. Until... Like until it, until you have an epiphany, yeah. Until you have to really you have come a big together, blow up. Like yeah. that's what I hate is, I just don't want it to be. I don't want anything. I'm the person that like wants to talk about stuff right away. That's yeah. me. Where it's like I just want to like get it out. But I've learned that that's not the best either. Because if you try and talk to someone that's really pissed off and when they're not ready, when they're not ready, or when the when it's just gonna be a dumb fight, like you even talked about, like going back, you yeah. know trying to be like okay i'm sorry and then it turned into a fight again that's always what happens you can if it's tell, too yeah. early you'll just go right back into the fight right Correct. or it'll go even further or below the belt or you're both say things that you shouldn't say it's so like poking I've an angry learned, bear already yeah but yeah. i've learned over time to not do that so like back in the day i would be like you know we'd like fight all night because i like had to know like we have to work this out like what is wrong and it's like see that's how he Chris needed Space. to sleep it off mm-hmm. or whatever it is not drunk but just like sleep off yeah. whatever anger and then we can come back and talk later in the morning and i've learned now if he's starting something saying something if i know it's going to be a fight give him some I time i just go cool i don't even engage in the fight anymore we know each other so well now that's good that i know when he is pissed off about a certain thing or is being a certain way i know exactly what that fight is yeah whether it's money right at a certain time of the month Mm -hmm. this money fight is and it's not going to be about money but that's what it is you know what i mean and i know exactly where it goes so i just go huh okay i go into my room you know what i mean like we just i just try and preempt it every once in a while we'll have like an out of nowhere fight which is what's happening in quarantine quarantine where it's like i don't know these fights like i've gotten to the point where i know all of the fights i know how yeah, they this begin is like new, i know how breed. they end this is a new breed of like, new breed of COVID. yeah it's the covid fight and it's spreading and it's just like 
I don't know what this is. I don't yeah. know what his particular brand of frustration is with this. Could be money, could be uncertainty, could be business, could be, I, I have no idea. So I need yeah. to just be like, okay, instead of getting into the fight, it's learning how to fight smarter. It is kind of. Because you're going or, to. Yeah. You're going to you're going and you to. should. You should it's fight. learning how, yes, because the same thing too, you have to learn how the other person what the other person needs and how the other person fights and then work with it kind of yeah right because it's was, usually women working with the guys fight but anyways well chris guys the same very way, rarely though, will do it he would smother me like he would notice i was mad and he'd be like tell me what's tell up me, what's up what's up what's up and, and you're like shut the fuck and, up oh, yeah, 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 yeah and i always say like dude i feel like i'm an angry bear and you're like cornering me yeah and the, the only way for me to get out is a fucking attack yeah to hit so, you like, in the balls <laughs> and you don't want me to hit you in the balls <laughs> yeah to the groin. So it yeah. was one of those things where I was like, dude, like you got to give me at least a little. So there's always a give and take. Like I had to realize I can't take that much time and space. And right. he had to realize to give me some time and space. Yeah. And, and again, yeah, it is very different. And I think there's probably a lot of people out there who are learning a lot during this quarantine. Yeah. And learning like, well, I thought we had it all figured out, but I guess I fucking don't. And now we're going to have to just fire. Yeah. And figure out how to deal with this situation. This situation. Which could be very helpful for the future because who knows what the fuck's going to happen. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I guess that's like, if we want to look at the silver lining, let's let's be positive pams. Okay. Right here and be like, oh, well, there's a silver lining in this. We're learning more about our spouses. <laughs> We're learning more about our spouses. And anytime. And hopefully we can figure out if. Um, you guys like to be like goals, like with me and Ross. Goals, goals. Oh, people we're say just that? normal. That's what, yeah. Fucking people. We've been to counseling. We fight. Yeah. We're in quarantine. We're having That's a everyone. fucking hard time. And yeah. that is absolutely everyone. Don't think that one person, no. whether they're posting their Instagram, like fun game that they made up with their kids. Don't think for one second that the hour <laughs> after that, they're not yelling at them louder than they've ever yelled at their kids yeah. in their lives. What is wrong with just do your work? Yeah, I mean, shit, that video I posted, I think, uh, you know, registered with a lot of people. The the mom being like, Mom, what's for dinner? Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, what do yeah. you want? Just and like, then, like, the day fuck. 30, Mom, get the fuck out of my yeah. face. Like, yeah. It's kind of, I mean, I don't have kids, but shit. I'm kind of doing it with the hubs. It's kind of normal. You're so, not, you'll see. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> And then you'll see with uh, having kids, too, how you were talking about in the military where you're like, you know, like you it when it first starts, you're like, I don't even understand oh, sure. how a person can, can do this function with literally no sleep and feeding a baby with your body or not body, whatever you want to do. But like, how how does that even like you can't even fathom how it works. Yeah. And then a couple months in, you're a fucking pro. Dude, the, well, I'll tell you what's crazy is when we get Chris's daughter. Yeah. Right. We like they got divorced a while ago. Like we had her even when she was like really really young. Yeah. Like still changing diapers or still yeah, yeah, to yeah. potty trained and like Dang. needing to sleep with us. Mm -hmm. When we would get her for even just a week at a time, I was I would be like at by the end of it like I don't know. Oh, she, yeah, if you're not seeing it all the time. Like I mean, I have so much respect for her being a like anyone being a mother. Yeah, like, yeah. And I would and she's a good kid. Like you know what I mean? It wasn't like she's a bad kid. So even when we got her for like three weeks one time. I was like, this is a lot. This is a lot. It's but a then lot. also I took off the whole three weeks and everything. You know what I mean? There's so I didn't have like a normal job. And you're not in it from the very No, I wasn't in from the very get-go. Where it's like. Part of me was so surprised and kind of impressed with myself with the lack of sleep that I was getting. You just do. able to do. Like, you just do. You know, every morning, come over to my bed. Tiffany? Yep. It's like, yeah, what's up, girl? Like, wake me up. She would always wake me up in the middle of the night. She had this, you know, like she's very close to women because yeah, she's yeah. with her mom. So yeah. she would always come to me and like the like clockwork, you know, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, yep. let me sleep with you. And then I pop out of bed. Now, part of me was like, how did I manage? And have like energy a little bit. I did have energy. And I was actually in really great shape during the time. And if I showed you pictures, you'd be like, damn girl, you look good. And I was like, I know I didn't even work out. Yeah, you were just like. Like I just did push-ups every day and ran around with you her. You just go. You just do. Somehow you do. You're just constant. I think the fact that you're constantly moving with the That's kids. That's the thing. You don't get a like second. And they always say, people will say this to you when you get pregnant. Sleep when they sleep. Sleep when they sleep. I'm like, I'm Did fucking. You? No, because you have to do the I things feel like that you couldn't do. That's what I was wondering. Sleeping. Because part of me feels you like I would show, be like. You watch a show. You fucking do something do normal. A dish. Like you, yeah. you, you cannot be like, oh. 
Okay, unless you have a fucking nanny. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Which I don't. I didn't. I have nanny for work. I don't have nanny for when I'm home or any or any other time. Yeah. Except for when I'm not there. So when I'm there, it's all me. I'm sure I'll have my mom a bit. You know, Which, my mom's gonna come me out. Too. Like I had mine. Thank God. But yeah, yeah you have. Yeah, to. But but beyond that, you know. Yeah. So you just make it work. You can't sleep. You just don't sleep. That's the thing. And you just like get through it and you just sort of do you just do that's all that's the only thing i can say is that you just do i will say it's pretty amazing what the human body can do even without sleep because when we went through our initial like training we they had a they call it impro impro week we would they would make us improvise these like weird things like okay. shelter pieces out of parachute you know okay. what i mean like a bunch yeah, of yeah, stuff yeah. like just this, like, random camp- scenarios out of parachute like stuff that you would have okay. to carry with you out in the woods but they purposely did it to task saturate us again to see how well we could handle being over tasks and if we would get enough sleep i didn't sleep for three fucking days jesse three full days now that i don't know i guess i so could the only do it, time but- yeah and a lot of us didn't like it, I, I mean i fucked up like oh. it was a whole week in those first three days i got really fucked up because for me i was like i gotta get everything done i gotta get everything done and i stayed up all night long to get it done right and then oh, you have okay. class next morning and the only time i probably got sleep was dozing off in a class or you know what i do i'd go to the female bathroom and i was the only girl there so i'd Perfect. sleep and they'd be like Hey, like, you in there? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm taking yeah. a shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I would sleep for the whole 10 minutes. So Beautiful. that was right. That was all I could get. It got to the point where I was hallucinating while I was like sewing yeah, at dude. night. It was so bad. And I was like, okay, I'm making myself like three hours of sleep. I slept for a whole eight hours. I woke up freaked out. Guess what? I operated so much better, of course, with the sleep. But what I'm saying is I'm still amazed with all the shit I did get done in those three days. Oh, and yeah, you do. On nothing. You do. You will. And, and you 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 manage it you figure out how to do it figure out how to do it even with a few hours you just like keep doing it speaking of diapers (laughs) (laughs) after the sponsors i feel like we need to (laughs) oh god we just need to talk about a little message that you got and yeah and go from and see where it takes us we'll see where it you got a message from someone after it a show that we did or a TikTok that you so post? I, I Which made, one are we going to go Yeah, with? I made a video. Okay, okay. I made a video, um, and it was like the quarantine one, right? It was right when the quarantine yes. started. And you were I like... did a funny video of like couples in the quarantine. It was like day one, they're all happy. Yes. Today, like 20-something, and you're in fucking diapers because diaper. your husband forgot to buy enough toilet paper. Okay, and so we'll leave it at that. You got a message about it. I got a message about diapers. It's awesome. Uh-huh. And weird and creepy. But anyways... <laughs> Ghost bed will be very appreciative <laughs> that that's the uh, our segue, segue into, into it. it. Yeah, ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros for twenty five percent off. I think still it looks yeah. like they're going to be extending that. They keep extending it every day because I think it's sort of like we don't know what's going on yeah. and there's so un- so much uncertainty that I think they're just like all right. Well, if we're in quarantine another day, we're going to hook it up. We're going to do twelve more hours of 25 percent off Correct. and then just so you guys know for people that aren't listeners or don't have that they have upped the first responder and military um percentage to 25 percent. so if there's wow. just like someone off the street that doesn't even know who we are that goes to the site yeah thankfully they have a big discount for first responders that's incredible and yeah and i think that i mean that includes i think like you know frontline doctors whoever whatever yep and so I think that's pretty cool. And then we also get 25% off just because that's like for civilians and everybody yeah. on the Drinking Bros site. And get the hookup. Um, get the hook up. Uh, so grab yourself some pillows, some sheets, a Lux mattress, and yeah. then do like a 36-month pay-as-you-go program. You won't have to pay a big chunk right now. You'll be comfy and cozy right away. Next up, we have StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code Lady Boner. Oh, oh, Lady Boner. Excuse me. Do you have a Lady Boner shirt on? We can get to that I later. Do. Um, I have a big, big tit, tit energy, energy, which is very appropriate for you, right? Because <laughs> you can't even see them with you got my big small <laughs> boobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but uh, Strike Force Energy, we need it right now in the oh, quarantine. Yeah. I need it to get up out of bed. I need it to get me through the end of the day. Pre-workout. Pre-workout. No sugar. Without the No jitteries. carb. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And for all those people who are still essential out there, all the healthcare workers who need to stay awake, take Dude, this. All the it. truck drivers 
who are still essential. Oh, take this. this yeah, this yes. will be very helpful. Very and helpful. And you can have multiple packs in your vehicle or in your, you know, Dang, backpack. I we should send some strike force to some. I know. That's what I mean. Hospital. Should. I mean, with a great discount. Why not? I mean, it's it's good, clean energy, it too. Is. That without the other bullshit in there. And then you can put it in whatever you want. So and you don't have everyone that. everyone always wants coffee all day long. They don't want and some coffee, people don't like coffee. And I mean, they don't some... want carbonation always. So it's yeah. like, if you want to just put it in water or if you want to put it in, like, do you know what I mean? Well, a- and by the way, too, a lot of those, like, carbonated sugar. I mean, super sugary energy drinks. You, know you don't I mean? want it. No. You don't want you it. Don't. Um, Strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code LADYBONER. Next up, you guys, we have Liquid IV. Oh. Now, we can Chris we even is, find a box? Because guess who's stolen all of my Liquid no, IV? every day. Chris all is like, the guys at the Chris is like hey, can I have another Liquid IV? I'm like, God damn, dude. So my favorite. They love it. My favorite is uh, Passion Fruit and the Lemon. What do I have here? That one's passion yes, fruit. Yes, I have passion fruit. Lemon is my favorite, so I'm holding up your favorite. I like favorite. both of them, But yeah. basically, this is a pouch of hydration. Mm-hmm. Go to liquidiv.com. Look at what they, um, look at their products. You basically put this one stick mm-hmm. of hydration powder into 16 ounces of water, and yeah. it will hydrate two to three times more yes. than just fat bottle water because that's what we fucking need right I now. I know. Right? And all the vitamins that you have in it, all the Dude, vitamin this Bs, vitamin C, which is great for your for immune right system. Yep. Right? I mean, yeah. It, it's what you need to help keep Dude, healthy. it has C and all the B vitamins mm-hmm. and keeps you hydrated. That's exactly what everybody's telling you right yeah. now. And Liquid IV is, uh, does good. So when you really buy, do, yeah. right? You buy it, you know that you're doing something um, awesome for everyone, including your body. They they're donated. Giving these, yeah. They're giving these actually to a ton of health care workers right now. I saw which that. Which I think is amazing. Dude, I fucking love the I know. owner of this company. I do too. I they really bond. care about their people. Yeah. They really care about everyone. They want to do good. They want you guys to be healthy. They have a new flavor too, strawberry cake. The Steve Aoki one? Yeah, dude. And one Looks of our like people are fucking One of our listeners that. bought like a 25 pack or something of them and she loves them. So yeah, I'm excited to try that one out. Yeah. So go to liquidiv.com, put in promo code B R O E T T E S, Broettes. You guys know it. Not everybody knows how to spell it, but you guys do. Liquidiv.com, enter promo code Broettes. At checkout, you're going to get 25% off everything that you order that's such a great discount. so yeah. you know they have big you can get in big bulk you can get little boxes mm-hmm. you can buy single packs like just try it out it's exactly what we need right now to stay healthy so i'm super 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 excited about liquid iv everyone in the office is too that's why they're stealing shit. all our shit mix it with alcohol too if you want dude hydrate while you, know you, know I mean? d- while you what, dehydrate that's what I used to do. <laughs> keep it at an even level i used to yeah Right? Pedia- That's how you go all day. Listen, if you, listen, people are listen. drinking at 6 a.m. in the morning. So if you're going to do it. Exactly. We don't know if Liquid IV, IV wants us to, you know, say <laughs> that. But, hey, why not? That's what I do. People do like a, a, a fucking yoga and wine, right? Like detox to retox, whatever. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. So let's just keep it all. Let's even keel. Keep it even keel. Mm-hmm. Go to liquidiv.com. Put in broettes. Get 25% off. Last but not least, we have Felix gray this is also very um pertinent right now is that is that how we say it we're all on i am on my phone i got in trouble for it on the last (laughs) show that i did live with um on ross patterson revolution i was on my phone i was looking down at the fucking computer i'm just like so used to it yeah because that's what i'm we're literally doing all day i am so bad i need to get my kids a felix gray glasses because i'm just letting uh, them be on on the tablet I'm not having any fucking shame about it. I don't yeah. think you guys should either. You have to do what you have to do. Listen, and they that love tablet it. is a lifesaver, by the way. Deal with it afterwards. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, deal with that shit. But computers what you all can day long. Do, yeah. TVs even. So what you can do is wear these Felix Gray glasses. They're blue light blocking. Mm-hmm. Um, they're gonna help. It's gonna help regulate circadian rhythm so that you can go to sleep. It's gonna help with headaches, uh, vision, blurry vision. Anything that's out, happening like, what, 80, like 90% that. 90% of the Blu-rays. Like, yes. it's great for your eyes. It actually does Getting more strained. than you think it does. Yeah. But anyways, go to felixgrayglasses.com slash broettes. You're going to get free shipping. 
um, and try 30, try it for 30 days. If you don't like them, it's not helping you with all of those problems that I said. Like you are getting headaches. Mm -hmm. It is harder for you to fall asleep. I promise if you're watching, you know, either your laptop or your phone right until. I'm so bad about that. Right. I noticed that. I put the phone down so, and then I try yeah. and go to sleep and I'm like, Ooh, why can't I sleep? My, my brain's going nonstop. Yeah. Yep. So these have definitely helped me. Check it out, guys, if you're having these issues. FelixGreatGlasses.com slash broettes. Now we need to get into a little thing we like to call creepy messages to Tiffany. I think we should do oh my a, God, a segment of that. We have to. Because you. I know you get... I don't... I think because I'm like so publicly like with my husband on like every fucking show and we all fucking oh, know on the everything show. I've well, done. Well, here's the thing is I will say this. Compared to what I see everyone else get, I get nothing. Okay. These are very just, and by the way, the ones that I get aren't like, show me your boobs. Like, no. like they're very respectful still. Like, right. Hey, I like, I hope I don't disrespect Sorry? you. But it's very <laughs> rare. And it's funny because one came, one happened in March and one just happened recently too. Okay. So, but it's very, very rare that it does. And I think because one, I don't, you deal are with, very out there. Too I don't deal like, with the disrespect on my page. If yeah. anyone ever crosses a line, I'm like, I either block them or I say like, bro, I'm married. Try it again. See yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. You don't also, like DMs like, for that reason. No, I don't like, respond just, to do DMs. Yeah. And I also don't like put myself out there as much sometimes too. And I will s randomly post pictures of Chris when I can, you know? Like, yeah, for sure. Which we I try. Right. I don't do that either though. It's not because I'm trying to be like, oh, maybe she's single. I just. Oh no, I don't do it for my, that. I do it because I love him and I like want to post a picture of us. I just have to make sure like. It's appropriate and it doesn't show sure. like his face or like stuff he doesn't want to be seen. Yeah, exactly. And That's then with it. Ross, it's like he needs approval of it. He's so <laughs> fucking vain. So I'm like, okay, I'm not, I just don't end up yeah. posting it. And if we do, it's like birthday, anniversary, whatever. But we each have our own Instagrams and yeah. then we kind of post each other for certain things. But mm -hmm. yeah, same. But I get a few. Like I get a few. Me. <laughs> so anyways, people are dying. What What is this one that you got? So this was based off the video of me like just showing myself in a robe and at the very end in a diaper in a diaper because the joke is husband didn't get toilet yeah, paper yeah toilet paper so, so I had a diaper. diaper 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 bro <laughs> so uh <laughs> this just basically says they are a really long time follower and friend and they they're like really happy they think i bring a lot of joy to the world uh, that's filled with the opposite so th that's how they start off the next question um, that's how he started off yeah like first off i'm a longtime follower and fan you bring a lot of joy to the world <sighs> often filled with the opposite this one's a hard one go next ahead. before my question i just want you to understand that i'm married and this email is not about reference to anything other than potentially connecting with like-minded individuals okay. um, they have no interest in anything other than what might be a mutual interest um so the question is in the video you flash yourself wearing a diaper and i just read through comments and so i'm just wondering if you and your husband are into diapers as a fetish or for enjoyment and i get this is a super personal question by no means would i ever broadcast that notion um by the way this person's completely anonymous like i don't have you have no idea who it who, is who we, it we're is. not gonna say at all who it well is, no I, yeah. I don't know who it is at all because they left they did a they made their own email and everything they didn't leave their name um that's a lot of trouble to go through or i i mean no it's pretty you simple have, it's simple okay to make your own email yeah. okay okay and uh apparently this person enjoys wearing diapers for the need of it um just as relaxing for downtime comfort they used to wet the bed in high school so they were um required to wear diapers but they then stopped and now they just wear them on occasion for comfort so again they just end the email with like if they're wrong they're it's extremely embarrassing but it's not embarrassing though because it's not like I didn't get any, I didn't get any information about them. But what is he? Okay. So they want it, he wants to know if and I have a mutual. Happen? He wants to know if I have a mutual diaper fetish, and I don't know if he didn't. How he didn't say that why. Help him to know that. Do you guys then do diaper stuff together as a as a th foursome? I don't know. I think I like, think what's that, the end game? If there's here? Pe so there's. Everyone has, like, I feel like everyone out there has their own fetish. Dude, and we're cool with it, right? Yeah. We don't kink shame or anything like this, unless, go ahead. Ever, I've just said everyone has their own fetish. And I think that people want to, to know that there's other people out there like them. So, so even just all... with my profile, for example, when I share parts of my life, a lot of people like knowing that they're not alone and dealing with, like, their things or their struggles or whatever it might be. People don't want to feel alone. So I sure. have a feeling this guy maybe saw something, which, by the way, like, it's a funny video by no means... 
I was really surprised to kind of get that, thinking I would have an eyebrow fetish. Mm-hmm. That I put it on just for a video for, and it was like clearly t- such a couple joke, seconds. But yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. then, you know, he obviously wanted to see if I had a mutual thing. While I don't mind it, he was very like professional, super polite, whatever else. Um, to me, like I'm sure that there's forums and stuff out there and like Craigslist and all these people that you could find. Tons. I think it, and here's the thing too, like let's say if I did have a diaper fetish. Then what? So I'm now as this like person that's exposed on social media with thousands of, you know, people like supporters and stuff. Now I'm going to tell him when he didn't even give me his identity. Right. And so Barbie, you're going to say, hey, I am. Th- so this is what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to play that tape. It's a little to the end. It's of a little like, weird. It's so a little then you go random weird. Yeah. And again, very respectful. I'm doing sure. air quotes. Very respectful. Doesn't mean that he had to email me about it though. Yeah. And doesn't mean like that the intention behind that could very, very well be a little creepy. Sure. Um, I find it. Here's where my mind goes with all this. Yeah. This is and this is terrible. Like part of me. It's not terrible. He put you in the position. No, no, no. Well, I'm just saying like part of me doesn't. I don't trust anyone. Exactly. And to me. That's how we're made. And to me, like part of me thinks to myself like. This person could just be lying to try to figure out something about my life to maybe Ooh, and like fucking I'll, I'm sure there's people out there. I was like Tiffany, you really think you're that important? Listen, people are desperate to to fucking take down anyone nowadays. Oh, dude, you never know. Like who and it just is. have shit on people or whatever. By I the way, this I learned this from KGB that like, <laughs> and I never thought this before, but I learned this from KGB that like yeah. if you are messaging with a girl talking shit about whatever you know how you get into the fucking thing or messaging on instagram she is gonna i never in a million years thought that someone would take a screenshot of that photoshop that or do whatever they take out their conversation have their conversation just have yours only i mean never in my mind did that even enter that's happened to me before i'm sure but like i was in a close group of girlfriends it was like all four of us in this group chat and like you're just talking about like in a group oh, text, dude, we and you talk about everything, and we vent about things, look, or like you haven't like people who might one annoy person you. hasn't talked to you in a while, so you start talking about them. Well, blah, not even blah, blah, no, whatever. not even just that. But I'm just saying, like, there would be people talking about in this group, right? And like, let's just say there's one person that was brought up, and everyone's just like, exactly. oh my god, yeah, oh my yes. god, yeah. Yes. Well, later on down the line, this person decided to go ahead and black out their shit they said about the person, or you could even delete it. I mean, it's so easy to go through and just delete know. your own and try to use it to like expose me for something when I was like. I didn't even say anything bad. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, that's even, that's hilarious. I just said that the video looked like one of mine. That's it. Everyone else called her name. So I like, guess. Called like, this person name. So to me, part of me is like, I would, I would, even if I did have some type of weird diaper fetish or whatever, I would never ever share that with someone who's not even willing to like put their neck out on the line and make up a fake email, never give me their name. Oh, sure. Number you have one. no idea. So that's like is. the big thing right there. Number two, like, obviously, I don't have a, the diaper fetish. And it was just a really funny joke for a video. Yeah. Everyone, I think every person thought that it was just a joke. Yeah. But yeah. While respectful, I still think it's a little weird to just, like, randomly message someone. Well, I was talking about, we before we got on air, I was talking about this. Where, like, we do want to normalize stuff like this, right? Like, I don't want to, if this really is, We're like, not going to kink shame anyone, no. Kink shame or just, like, make him, if he is just, like, a normal guy that is like looking for somebody else that has the weird ass shit that he has like I'm not going to make him feel bad for that right Mm -hmm. but I think it is a slippery slope where we're like we are in this world of like we want to make sex workers like very it's a very normal job that like is respectable they're like doing what they got to do and I in some respects do Mm -hmm. like fine do what you got to do I don't fucking care I'm one of those people that's like doesn't affect me i really don't give a shit what you do behind closed doors or whatever it is or with your life out in the open i I don't care but it's when it goes into your dms so that's yeah that means now you are have to be a part of it now you're trying to bring me into your fucking weird ass shit now listen (laughs) that's the yeah listen what i would say to this guy if if he is listening or not listening or whatever is like hey bro it's cool like if there's a million people. Anything that you can yes. think of in your mind, I promise you, there's oh. at least 5, 10, 20, 100 other people in the U.S. alone that are thinking and doing the same thing. I would say even more than that. More than thousands that. Upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands. those are people. And you can find in forums. You can find yes. on Craigslist. You can literally find anywhere. Put, Put it on. on a random Instagram page. 
like that's of someone thing. that's like a clearly like you know public figure you are a public figure and you know what i mean and you are married and you are in the military and you are have you do have the show and it's not necessarily about that kind of stuff like that was a real leap that you never that was a know very big leap. if yeah. that's part of your fucking fetish, making people feel fucking uncomfortable. I don't know. So that's the thing. I don't it's know like, what your fucking is thing is. to each their own. But it's also like, to each your own. To each their own. Just keep keep it to... Well, it's your it prerogative. To, to your own. Exactly. Like, don't, you don't have to bring me in on It's it. your prerogative as well to be like, this shit cre- creeped me out a little bit. It was respectful. But like... I, was afraid, I didn't tell Chris about it. I did, yeah, I, because because I like, God, if you show this to, I mean, if if somebody sent me this and I show it to Ross, he would be like, "Dude, I'm fucking like no." Chris, cool. Chris would immediately like trace, the, try to trace, the email try and, and find out them. Who Absolutely, it was. yeah. Be like, Call them the, out the every day on the show. Something. Even if it was respectful, it was just one of, like, one of those things. Like, can you imagine that if like you know my husband got any I mean, email from a girl saying like, "Hey, I saw you post a picture in this," and like, even though I'm married, I would be like, "Who the fuck?" Yeah. Who the what? I no. think the thing is, like, I'm not going to come to your house, beat down your door, and be like, what the fuck fetish are you in, creep? Like, <laughs> I really don't care. But if you come to my front door and Correct. ask me if I'm into diaper stuff, Correct. I'm going to tell you, listen, bro, get out. Part of me, here's Get the- on the internet. You clearly are savvy enough to yeah. hide your fucking email. So I know you're able to find some kind of forum, chat room, girl, yeah. uh, cam girl that wants to fucking do this shit for you. Please. Sorry, go ahead. I love you. <laughs> I, like, I love hate it. that that we have to no. be so fucking nice. About no, we don't this have to be nice. That's like, but well, we, and that's the thing too is I will do, say that right? no, we don't because here's the thing too. Well, he even, God, you don't this, want this to. gentleman even asked me to write him even if it was a no, and I'm like, I'm not fucking writing you. Yeah, because then like, what? As then much what? why? Don't, that's what I mean. As much as he started off like, hey, I follow you and you're positive. Yeah, it's fine. But he was also like, hey, by the way, yeah, if you're not into it, just let me know. Like, no, I'm not even gonna respond to this because now why? I'm engaged. Like, look, you did, you stuck your neck out there. If yeah. That's what it is. And that's fine. You blocked your email. Fine. You know, if you stick in your neck out there with like someone, my co-host on a fucking DM, you can for sure stick your neck out there on a fucking forum. Which are, diapers are, are a big thing. It you is know a big I thing. go down porn rabbit holes. Yeah. Diapers are huge. You can find a million people that are into diapers. Ex- yeah. And that's, a th- yeah. And that's the thing too. Part of me, I was like, okay, there was literally like... <laughs> A two, like, se- a two second know? clip of uh, like I didn't go on about diapers I mean I joked a few times about diaping up it, but, I, but we always joke about diaping I, up I, right? I know we did but that was like that was a thing at the time right because the toilet I paper frenzy know. so it was a joke to laugh about but part of me was like there was a no way shape or form that I look like you know what I mean that no, anyone I there ever was, in their mind would have thought and look I wonder if she has a diaper fetish I like to think like any like video that you post or whatever like how people could take it weird which like (laughs) not for one second did i think like oh no she's really she's really caught the eye of the diaper community (laughs) like i never was like worried about that right so like for him to like "Mm -mm -mm," you know the diaper community all had a meeting and convened and they were like do you see this tiffany hart chick (laughs) i don't want this guy to feel bad about this shit right like no that's not the point it's the point of like you really like I wouldn't stick my neck out in that way so much anymore. Like, I Mm -hmm. think I, because it does make people feel uncomfortable and it's not okay to do that as much as we're a society now that we're okay with your kink. It's not okay to make people feel uncomfortable Mm -hmm. at the same time. Right? Like how do those two, we need to find a way for those two things to like merge together where it's like, we're cool with everybody, but then we're not so cool that you get to like, well, even the Make next me feel one. uncomfortable. And now I wonder who you are and why you're doing this and what your intentions are. And now I'm thinking about all that. Well, right? this guy, I mean, I deleted his the message, but I'm sure I can look on his page and like figure out a little more information about him. You know what I mean? So this guy like sent me a message on fucking Instagram. Okay. This, and like from his account and everything. This guy did, yeah, from okay, his account. Well, that's so like, again, that's a little bit better to be honest because it's like well, this hey, one's not as creepy. Okay. Well, I mean, this was the, hey, I'm sorry. If, and then again, it oh, yeah, yeah, starts yeah. off with the, hey, I'm sorry if yeah, this offends you. Um, but I find you really attractive and I'd like for you to be my sugar baby. So again, like, I'm just letting you know my intentions in case you would be interested. We can talk more terms and weekly allowances later. Just basically paying for your time. No sexual relationship. 
But what? Like, what is that even? That's what like, I don't do you know. think I'm fucking stupid? But what first do you of mean all, paying for my time. Like, I'm so confused when, like, I have totes married, like, as large as I can in my fucking bio. Every video that you have is like, married, I'm married. I'm, yeah, oh, I have like no relationship guys, videos. Sorry. Yeah. Or like, I have pictures of my husband. Or if anyone crosses the line, I'm like, bro, I'm married. Or like, yeah, my husband. Like, not trying to throw it out purposely, but just, I'm just being me. And so I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? That w- And these happen within, that's what I'm saying. I think this is a quarantine, man. I think it might be the quarantine. I mean, people are this happened losing during the quarantine. their mind. Like, it's happened during the quarantine. It's happening from guys during the quarantine. Boredom. They're like, oh, I got to do something. I got to message a random girl about being a sugar daddy or diapers. Yeah. And look. I mean, still, don't get me wrong, politely, but it's still like. But it's still. It's still. I, th- I think it's inv- a little invasive still. Like, maybe that's just me. But, like, I think no matter how respectfully you ask if I'm into fucking poop stuff because I <laughs> joke about it on the thing, it would still be like, eh. I'm obviously joking. And then what's the end game here? No, I guarantee so what if I there's a dating site or something for people with fetishes because there's that dating site oh, there for is. people who, for sugar babies. And there should be. Look, go to that dating site. Everyone on there knows what they're getting into. Yeah. But there's this also part of it that like, I think there is a part of it to, of turned on by like making you a little uncomfortable so do you know what i mean otherwise there's like some people like there's some lesbians out there right who really get their kicks off like trying to make a straight woman same with gay guys right right? same with gay guys like it's like kind of like a task or a challenge sure so maybe that could have been it just like testing the waters a little bit and being like oh you don't like diapers well you wore one how'd you feel in it and like trying it Sure. But like I again, never, I'm never going to engage. You're not going to engage. But then you're just like, <laughs> like, it would be funny to know if I am right. Right. If you engage and then he turns fucking even creepier. I don't know. Like, I hate to fucking make this guy feel bad. And then he really is just like super nervous, shy, whatever. But the only thing, again, I will say to that is like, go to a fucking forum, dude, where everybody knows what they're getting into. Yeah. Why make some random girl feel uncomfortable, possibly? And put yourself out there. I mean, you must be that good, Tiff. I mean, I'm goofy. <laughs> you must be that good. That like, he thought easy like, going. Yeah. What do you mean good? I don't know that he thought like no matter what. Oh, my good acting. <laughs> I don't know, but like, yeah, like consequences actress. be damned. She has a show. She could say this on her fucking <laughs> show, which she does, right? I mean, that's a huge fucking risk. Oh, well, people are stupid anyway. Because I, I honestly feel like that people were like, oh, these people have a very large platform that they can fucking roast me on. Then they would not do and say things. But You'd people think. definitely are. So that's one of those You'd things. Think. And by the way, those people listen. Oh, yeah. To this. Yeah. Because but here's what's the funniest part. Is that these oh, the people- sugar baby thing must have come from... The show. Oh, I don't even know. Right? I, well, I don't even know. You don't know. have it but anywhere. I, but I also said, too, that I would never do the sh- seeking arrangements exactly. thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? But then they're like, ooh, maybe she's saying it, but she doesn't. Yeah. No, I mean, th- I know there's we girls out there who would said. do the sugar yeah, yeah. daddy baby thing. And we even said, like, no bigs. Yeah, like, each their own. No judgment. I mean, personally, I would not do Until that Until it one. comes to our porch, and then we got to kick them off. No. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. To each their own, unless you try and like. Unless you come up. Yeah. If you come, step uh, to if you, me. If you step to my table. <laughs> I'm going to kick you in the face. I'm going to flip the guy at the table at Sorry, you, bro. Dude. <laughs> but, it, but to each their own, but we're cool with whatever, but like whoever, you know, like we're down. <laughs> but don't fucking step to me because you I'm get on my property. Push. I'm going to fucking take out my big guns now. <laughs> but yeah, so there is seeking arrangements, which we kind of talked about a little bit. But yeah. Like, you know, that is for sugar babies and sugar daddies to find. Sure, go but there. that's like very scamish now. Is so like it, e- so now people are trying to find other avenues maybe, of like, like maybe. Because they're finding people are I mean, anyone's doing scams nowadays. Do you know how many people and this is what I get hit up most in my DMs, and this is this is what creeps me out. Is I get hit up by people commenting on my page and saying, Is this your real page? Like I have over twenty thousand followers. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Who's who's do you think it's fucking fake? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And do you think the person that has like 10 followers named Savannah something who you've never seen before in your life in any video like is real? Yeah. So I, when I get people asking me if it's my real page or if I'm like the one they've been talking to and I'm in love with, part of me is like, I almost don't feel bad for you because you got catfished and you got scammed because you're yeah stupid. 
I think you must have blocked someone that was asking me like I did I block I block them all for yeah the most yeah part. If they, they're like hey can you tell you know Tiffany that this there's this fake page blah 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 and I was all yeah sure I'll tell her I mean so when they so and the best like, thing that they give can a do message I'm like dude we're good yeah we're, we're done the best thing someone could do is if they are getting scammed by something like block that page report that page and then send me the page so I can try to report it too it's not sometimes it gets taken down sometimes it doesn't but what but I, I don't understand is how people are so willing to send thousands of dollars to someone that they never met before in their life who speaks in broken english who won't even fucking facetime them dude catfish they have millions of shows of people oh my god i don't know how they keep getting people yeah, but to do cat, it but catfish that show will not do anyone who scams people for money they yeah, will only do like someone money, falling in love now but and this... a lot more people are doing it for the money yeah like Posting pictures of me in my uniform, right? Which is why I have barely any on there anyway with watermarks on it. It's because they're sitting there saying that I'm like a single mom, like deployed in Syria. Oh, and like, I need money. And these guys are wiring like thousands of dollars to them. And then they get ghosted. They get mm. dropped. And then they come find me. And some people are very hostile. Oh, yeah. Like you've, like I said, this guy, you must have blocked him because he was just like, let her know. Da-da-da. And I was like. Hey, bro. Some people get hostile at me, and then other people like are accusatory, thinking that I stole. And I'm like, are you kidding? Do people use that to start conversations with you? Because with this guy, I was I like, don't I don't answer them. Well, I was like, so why do you keep telling me about it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. Too. Why are you engaging me about the fake account? It's yeah. fake. Block it. Yeah. Stop. Go away. That's the thing. Is apparently a lot of them hit me up and say that they fell in love with me. Right, through, but it was and someone else. Yeah, it's through someone. It's someone else. But oh, I guess okay, they're okay. like in love with this person of who I am. So when you see a picture of someone, like I guess it r- relates, and maybe they're yeah. Like, and then you've talked th- to someone on the phone or something. I don't even they, know. Yeah. But the thing is, too, they don't even do it on social media anymore. They're doing it on all these fucking dating apps and like like yeah, grinders yeah, yeah. and all these other all these other things. Uh, some guy hit me up and asked me if I was on this. Uh, it was a sexual fantasy app, like a bondage type of app thing mm-hmm. yeah some other guy hit me up on uh, facebook the other day who's married and was like hey are you the deployed widow and i'm like you're married bro like you have it all on your first of all you're married secondly no but i, I don't answer i just right, right, delete right. them all if they send me a profile i will you know report thank you it. for sending me da-da-da. no i don't like, even respond oh okay again i don't respond because i feel like this is now I'm starting a thing an, i'm yeah. starting this engagement i'm giving them the attention like i don't believe in giving you know guys my attention yeah you know in that aspect it's a good way to deal with it you if know a gr- if a girl brings it to my attention I oh would a girl probably i would be have. like yeah 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 there's I'll a girl like, who like girl, fell in love with me because i was on a lesbian app and i like i was very apologetic but she was also very nice she was like hey i just want to let you know like you know and i'm like oh my god i'm sorry that this yeah. happened to you like you know um like just re- if you can report it and send it to me like there's yeah. only so much i can do yeah yeah, yeah. And this is not just happening to me, by the way. This is happening to oh, like, no, no. everyone. It's pretty, yeah, like yeah. Matt Best has yeah. like a ton of shit out there on Noelle him. Noelle has a couple now. I I'm mean, sure Noelle I'm has a couple. Surprised that she didn't before, but she's got oh, a I know. couple. Yeah, and like everyone's starting to get more and more and more of these, and they and they realized using them like military people isn't really working as much anymore. So now they're going like some girl really think Matt Best is talking to her like. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like all you had to do is Google the guy and you realize that he's married. Yeah. And that's the funny. That's like the weirdest part, too, is that all these guys who are getting scammed are 50 year old, like super like kind of hillbilly country guys. Sure. That they're getting duped. Like part of me is like, you really think that don't ever send money to people. Dude, please don't met in person Poli- bro like, in person i don't i'm not talking about talking on the phone anything like just i don't wouldn't send money to someone i haven't like faced time even if bro, i facetime them multiple times person dude in person well that's the thing that's what they use Why the whole like deploy money anyway? thing here's the thing there is facetime there is skype you can't take like, there's no way to get around that. there's no reason why they can't like that's what i'm screaming at catfish the show which <sighs> i used to watch all the time yeah you're me screaming too. at the tv like why can't they call you right like are you fucking for a year i'm dating this person i'm in love with we just can't ever get a skype call to work or we tried to meet up multiple times like how do you not (sighs) and you're just like it's like they want it so badly i know that they'll believe and then you feel bad yeah because you're like oh dude they fell in love with something bad and then they're so blind but another part of me feels like 
you got to learn this. It's you called survival of the this. fittest, man. Like you got to be you smart. Like you have to like have and your if you head can't on learn straight. it from other people like me. If you can't learn it from catfish, dude. you're gonna have to learn it on your own, dude. This guy thought he was in love and talking to Katy Perry and engaged her. Like, are you fucking serious? On catfish? Yes. Oh my God, I didn't see that one. Like, what come a on. nightmare. Like, you know what I mean? To me, it's just like, okay, well, well, I think it's, I think it's nature just doing its, do I give running its people, course and doing its job. Do I give people too, too much credit? Do you I know mean, what I mean? I do. I typically do. But in this situation, since I've been dealing with this for the last three So like people years, like this. I, my, my like tolerance for it is done. Yeah. Like I'm just, I like don't feel bad anymore. If I had gotten that message, because I don't get messages like that. I just don't. Well, I they also haven't harassed your family. What do you mean? Like they have contacted my sister they've contacted yeah, my cousin. yeah yeah so i don't get they've called any they try to call my mom yeah yeah I and like text her <laughs> you know the minute you start fucking with my family is the minute it's on yeah, yeah yeah like i can deal like deal with me all day long it's whatever so i'm learning from this through you like i said because i don't yeah. get i don't get that kind of stuff so like i my first instinct would be like oh man like that's how i felt at you first. know what i mean like the first all right year you're really sticking your neck out blah 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 but then the first time you respond to that and they turn it into some fucking I used bullshit to. yeah that's then the you go you know to what respond Fuck to them all. You. yeah and then instead it turned into this argument or like well you need to do it's like you need to not send money or some people would threaten me and say that they were going to call the cops on me and they're going to report me to my leadership in the military and that they were going to like sue me for like money that apparently they gave. And I was like, good luck. You know what I mean? And after dealing with this for like years, you finally get to the point where you're like, by the way, anytime you can't help stupid. Yeah. And you can't. And then people like, if this person is really nice, like they're going to have to learn, like you don't message people like that. Not in this world, not in this climate, not with all of the bullshit you know photoshop fucking fake accounts like Dude. that's the world we live in so you can't like put that kind of stuff in a dm to a married woman whether she's into it or not mm-hmm. like you just fucking can't do it and that's what you need to learn i know if you are listening like again no shame just go find people that you know for a fact yeah have put it out there that they're absolutely into it not a joke on fucking instagram so then we don't have to fucking have these conversations. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I like, know. or listen, yeah. if you do want to hit up these, these girls or these people go to their only fans page. There you go. You can now pay. pay. On. You can now pay. You can pay to them, ask them whatever you to want. Ask them whatever the fuck you want. And they can so either the say no. There are yes. girls and, and good on them who are absolutely monetizing on it. Good for and you. Taking advantage and saying, you know what? If I'm going to have all these DMS and I'm gonna have all these guys ask for nudes or like all this other shit, you know what? Might as well get fucking paid for it. Yeah. So it's like good on you. So guess what, guys? If you want that, hit up a girl. Maybe ask the girl to take a picture in her diaper for you for a couple grand. Boom. Done. Bammo. Then everyone, it's like a mutual. You know everyone what I mean? knows yeah. what's going on. They know what's up. To each their own. They do their own thing. Girls getting paid. Guys Girls getting diaper paid. paid. That's what it's It's in great. This world, it's Look like, at we can work together as a team. Look at that. Like with like <laughs> prostitution, people wanting it to be legal. I do not. Yeah, I want people to have an outlet so they don't fucking DM me, right? I yeah. want people to have an outlet. Like, I want sex workers to stay safe so that there's a platform they can like go. I want guys to be able to go to that platform so they mm-hmm. don't have to find fucking random Correct. girls to creep yes. out. Like, I want everyone to have like a mutual. You know, there's a transaction. Yes. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. So there's not this thing. Hey, you end up fucking diapers. Yeah, fuck you, dude. <laughs> you like how I go back and forth? I'm like, I it's know. okay, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't. He's probably a nice guy. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> so, you know, that's what you got. That's what it does, though. It makes you like, uh, 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 yeah. feel weird, right? Yeah. And I know. the message wasn't even to me, but I'm like, yeah. oh, man. I know. Anyways. And but- guess what? If someone decides to do something like this, too, right? The only fans, the seeking arrangements, oh. the whatever, like, there's no need to, like, and that's the thing is I've seen a little bit more of it and we can get into this on the next let's get yeah episode but especially girls there's a girl code oh yes you gotta like ooh, and there's lots of rules stop in this with one. the shit mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, what I mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like I've seen so much of it particularly online nowadays because everyone's sitting there behind their fucking keyboard because it's trying is to so impress protective, somebody and everyone's got the biggest balls in the world because they're keyboard warriors the minute that you even address them online <gasps> half the people like Freak back out. down back can you imagine down. if you did it in person 
I'm, you know, I'm a pretty straightforward yeah, pers- yeah. person. If there's problems, I'll, a lot of times I like just kind of talk about them. Yeah, me too. You know? Yeah. And that's the thing too, is I feel like there's zero of the bullshit. And like yeah, woman yeah. to woman, if we got a problem, let's talk it out. Talk it out. Always. Girls don't do that. No. And they like to do it like, behind the it's back. It's being taken out on social media too. And like there's this girl who posted on TikTok, this girl code and everything else and we'll get we'll get into that more because Let's i do believe do these five things are a part of the girl code and maybe there's even more that there is yeah and but we, we were talking on each one of these we will and there's things that you learn as you get older there's yeah. things that like yes. you do when you're younger like there's all kinds of things there's that, a lot of learning <laughs> there's a lot of learning yeah um and there's a lot of like changing with the times and there lo- there's a lot of like and sometimes you learn the hard way but that's hey, fine and i think that'll be a good one i think we'll do it, it for too. next one yeah um, do we have a we bro at this is from the a, week? Another girl. Nice. This is from Lexi Morgenstern. Ooh, great So name. she goes, if I can, I'd love to nominate my mom, Tracy Aww. Seiler, for Drinking Bro of the Week. In July of 2019, my dad was in an accident re- that resulted in a near-fatal TBI. My mom has been so strong during oh this God. whole process as we cope with his, you know, near, uh, with a near-normal Um, for our family so this is kind of normal to them now my husband and i are stationed away um, from a home state of texas but my mom has single-handedly been our rock she's she takes my dad to his appointments to the neuro rehab she has basically fully returned to the workforce after 20 years of being a stay-home mom because someone has to work right so her and my dad are doing the best they can to keep their business going during this pandemic I typically call my mom the domestic angel. She's the mom who makes homemade bread and has the neighborhood kids over for dinner. I know this process with my dad has been uh, has not been easy on her, and she's learning to relove the man that she's married to for almost 30 years because I'm sure he's changed quite a bit. And typically, she doesn't have a lot of time left for herself. So I just wish I could be closer to her um, at home, but I know that she's strong and admire everything about her. So her, their parents own a Chick-fil-A. Oh, my gosh, stop. I love like that's awesome. The Where I read is that, it? I, in Texas. In Texas. Yep. And she's been buying groceries and taking them up to the store and sharing them with her employees each day that need it. Yep. And her dad, her dad's recovery Tracy. is nothing short of a miracle. So she said that um, Lexi is an ICU nurse and that she knows how bad his injury was. So um, basically, you know, they're going through a lot. And I'm Dang. sure even right now in this hard time with the quarantine, they're going through even more. And her mom, oh, I have goosebumps again. Her mom's a fighter. Her mom's taking care of him. Her mom's doing everything she can. This is like the multitask since, juggling that we were talking about exactly. before. Exactly. Since this is a girl podcast, guys, sorry. But yeah. like, I don't know how it would go the other way around. Like that lady. She's incredible. Fucking Tracy handles. Is literally an angel. Shit, and it's probably super fucking strong about it. Yeah. God damn it. I know. And they own. That's a true bro. A Chick-fil-A and dealing oh, with this. It's my God, crazy. that's a dream. To I own know. a Chick-fil-A. If I could be someone when I grew up, I want to be Tracy. I want to be Tracy. <laughs> I want to come back as, in another life as Tracy. Yeah, Tracy, reincarnate. Yeah. You're awesome. You are amazing. And Lexi. to have a daughter that is yeah. uh, nominating you. I mean, that's fucking huge yeah. too, right? So thank you, Lexi and Tracy. You're awesome. Guys. So, thanks so much for that. Um, oh, yes. Also, T-shirts. T-shirts, They're coming guys. Out this week. Yeah. Friday. So, so um we do have a couple people that we're trying to give these t-shirts to i mean you don't have to pull them up unless you have them right there. no i do yeah i have Um, them so we're trying to get these to the best reviews we've put them on the instagram we've put it a couple times on the stories on broettes post malone post it oh i love him he posted what did he post a bedroom uh a bathroom selfie like this Oh my just gosh! Like, he has his so he has his foot up on the toilet seat. Okay, just like c- kind of like what Captain Morgan doing? style, doing a peace sign in a bathroom mirror, and I think he's adorable. And he is adorable. I just love him. He is adorable. So yeah, so we did get a hold of Angel. Angel did contact us, and uh, I sent her her, her okay. shirt already. But we're waiting for everyone else too. So we're still waiting on um, Maddie, or it's like. M A D C I C I L I O T. I can't even say it. Poopy butt, 1986. Oh, that's right. right. Come on, poopy butt. <gasps> poopy butt, 1986. Where are you? Like, what the and then also P B R F F 18. Okay, guys. So if you, you know these people, if you are these people, please DM. Yeah. Um, just send us a diaper post or something about. <laughs> yeah, no. 
D- and all oh, by the way for these guys dm the drinking bro at drinking bro at page page we're trying um, to grow that page too guys so. yeah so dm the drinking bro at facebook page or instagram page that's gonna be the easiest way to get a hold of us we're also on tiktok and twitter just randomly we might be doing a, a tick a wine tiktok today that, if you guys see tiktok so you guys want us to remake send we'll them it. to us because we'll do it we have no shame <laughs> no shame no They're shame fun um but yeah we have t-shirts going out there's only like when are they gonna be friday friday okay so they're friday. gonna be available on americanheart.co Co. yeah um we'll and post. that's where we're gonna put like our mer- merch through there it's just easier Everything. and you we're guys are going stickers to get other made stuff. yeah so we're getting all that done these are nice and comfy i love them love like, it i know you guys pick these colors so this works out great this is for you people this is for you we do we it love for you. you yeah so well until right. next time right until next time. Until next time. We'll just be sitting right here until tomorrow. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do.